हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर टू क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री एंड फोर टूडेज कॉन्टेस्ट आर ऑलरेडी लाइव ऑन द चैनल एंड आल्सो इफ यू वांट टू हैव अ क्विक डिस्कशन एंड वांट टू गेट एवरी अपडेट्स स्कॉट चैनल वेयर वी हैव ड्यूरिंग कॉन्टेस्ट पोस्ट कॉन्टेस्ट डिस्कशन ऑल्सो एज लाइक ड्यूरिंग कॉन्टेस्ट दंस विच आर इन लाइन ऑफ कॉन्टेस्ट रूल्स स्कूल इट सेज दैट यू आर गिवेन अ टू डी इंटीजर आर ए कॉल एस पॉइंट वेयर वी विल हैव सम एक्स आई वाई कॉर्डिनेट्स नाउ I am also given an integer called as W. Now it says that your task is to cover all the given points with some rectangles. What I mean by that rectangles is each rectangle has its lower end point at some x one comma zero and its upper end point at some x two comma y two. Where he just mentioned, okay, x one comma zero is at x axis. Then I I can have x two comma y two. Now x two Comma y two can be starting from here itself to anywhere forward. Anywhere forward, as you can see, x x two is more than equal to x one, which means x two starting from here itself can go anywhere forward, and also y two is more than zero, which means y can also so y is going up, x is going right, and for sure that x two minus x one should be less than equal to w. That is the reason I was given a specific integer w that. I will have W. Let's say here in this case, my W was a one. So the maximum rectangle I can actually make is this of a width of one. So this is the width which will decide the maximum rectangle I can make. Now uh, my task, as I have already mentioned, is to cover all the points. How I will cover the points? I will cover the points with the help of this rectangle itself. How a point is considered covered by a rectangle if it lies within. Or on the boundary of the rectangle. So if I let's say make this again, which means to make this rectangle, I will put my x two comma y two here. Make sure it is in the bounds of my W. And here is x one comma y one. So this is the rectangle which I will be able to make. Now I am referring that any point which is on the boundary of this rectangle, or any point which is inside this rectangle, will cover. This this rectangle will cover all those points, and I have to return an integer denoting the minimum number of rectangles. So I have to use minimum as minimum number of rectangles as possible to cover all the points. What will be the answer? Now we will simply go on and do a very basic stuff. We know that we have to cover all the points. So for sure, wherever is the first point, again I have to cover all the points. So I will just take first point. Okay, where wherever I have the first point, as you can see, first point is here. Again, there is no boundation on the height of the rectangle. The boundation is only on the width, which means that I can draw as big line as I want on the vertical end. I can draw as big line as I want. Okay, great. Which means that my y coordinate will not matter. X coordinate will matter because I am bound. I am. I am restrictive of the width. So I said that okay to cover the first point again. I am just viewing the first point with my naked eyes. I view the first point and I said I, I will. I will cover this point. Which means I will plot my rectangle starting from here. But Arun, how did you know that you will have to plot your rectangle starting from here itself? Because I thought in a greedy manner. How I am thinking in a greedy manner? I referred that okay if let's say I have a point here. And I want to cover this point in a rectangle. I know the rectangle. I can take. I can make a rectangle here itself. Again, make sure the width is two. So one way is that you start your rectangle starting from here. This point itself width is two. Okay, but you will see that okay point is never covered. So ideally, by your logic, what you will end up doing is you will end up plotting your rectangle maybe here. Okay, maybe you plot it here itself again. Again, if I say the width is width is again a two, width is again a two, not width. It. Cool. Now what will happen? Okay, are in the point is still covered. Then why did you even like why did you even thought of that you will start your start your rectangle edge at this point because I want minimum number of rectangles. What if I would ask you? There would have been one more point. There would have been one more point. Then it would have been much better that you would have. Plotted your rectangle like this, like this. Again, remember the width is two. But I am ref. I I'll ask you, bro. Isn't it good? 
that you know that you have no points before this point like before this you have no point so why not you will put your edge of the rectangle at this point itself and then wherever the width will go that all the points will be covered so you applied your brain you said okay any point on the edge of the rectangle also is counted inside the rectangle so you went on and said i will make my rectangle starting from the point itself and then i know the maximum width can be a width which is given so maximum width i know height is no restrictions any height whatsoever i'm only concerned about the x coordinates so we have like we have got you know, two stars that i'm only concerned fun fun thing is i'm only concerned about the x coordinates second thing is i'm only concerned about that that w so i will use the entire length of w because i know i use the entire width of width of w so as to maximize the width so as to cover as maximum points as in in one rectangle because i want to use minimum number of rectangles so i want to incorporate as many points in one rectangle itself so this will be the end point ending point so whatsoever points are covered here are good then okay maybe the next point comes here then i will have to again start off by making another rectangle from here itself so this way greedily you are choosing a point from that point you are start like you will make a rectangle of length w whatever points are covered in that specific rectangle you will say okay one rectangle done then you will go on to the next place which is post this w distance and then again you will make the rectangle starting from the first point you will get and again you will try to expand that rectangle by example what we mean okay firstly we will have to go on to all the points i went on to the first point i went on to the first point again the points are shuffled are in you want to know the first point you have to go to okay you can simply iterate on okay what is the minimum value minimum value minimum value is one one okay so my first extreme leftmost point will be one if i am saying my leftmost leftmost point is one i can draw as big line as possible in vertical but horizontally i can only draw a width of one because of this condition if this width of one is there then i started my leftmost at one then i can only which means that anything which is under the limit of two will also be considered so this limit under two will also be considered because my width is one so rectangle which will be formed starting from this edge this edge having the x coordinate as one i can make up till x coordinate as two which means one plus this width which is this specific width so any point which is less than or equal to two will also be covered under this rectangle okay great now next what you go now okay one rectangle done now next you will go on to the next edge but still now you know, now you have to go and find out what is again the leftmost coordinate which is remaining so after this this is done you have to again go and find the leftmost coordinate will you again go and find okay because you can see two is done one is done one is done one is done now these are remaining will you again go and find the minimum coordinate here x x coordinate i'll say no bro like if you will go and find again minimum again and again you will actually end up having o of n square i'll rather say sort it so i'll simply sort these points array on the basis of its x coordinate so with this it is very easy that i will go on to all the points in the increasing order in the increasing fashion of the x coordinates so i'll be landing at this 3 i know that maximum can be 1 so i can also incorporate 4 so you can see i used two rectangles and that's the answer for me also okay one more example uh, i will firstly sort and you can see it is already sorted i will start from a zero okay at zero i know my width is 2 width is 2 so what will happen with the width of 2 i know if the width is 2 initially it is a zero so if the width is 2 which means anything which is less than equal to 2 less than equal to 2 will be covered so i was at this location i encountered this a zero i i realized that okay anything which is less than equal to a x of 2 will also be covered in this rectangle itself so okay i will skip it skip it because these all are less than equal to 2 so everything will be incorporated in this rectangle itself then i will land on to this 3 okay 3 is more than more than 2 so now i have to make a new rectangle so i'll make a new rectangle again the width is 2 so if i am at 3 width is 2 now my condition begin okay now i can go up to 5 as my 
bottom leg so again i will make a new new rectangle here itself and i can go up till five now at this six i will again have to make a new rectangle okay new rectangle again you can make maximum at a width of maximum width of two so if you are at six you can go up to eight but you will go six and then oh you have ended no worries so this is how you know that you will get three rectangles now code is pretty simple uh, exactly same what we did firstly we will sort the points on the basis of their x coordinates now when these are done i'll go on to all the points for first which means current x coordinate i will find what is the maximum x considering the width i have what is the maximum x i can actually reach which means my rectangle because this is my re rectangles extreme leftmost x maximum x will be the uh, my current re rectangles rightmost x and answer plus plus is equals to saying that okay i used one rectangle and that re rectangles leftmost point and rightmost point leftmost point is current x rightmost point is max x now when this portion is done you will simply as soon as this is done you will simply have to still make sure that you mark all these if you remember you have to mark all these as okay these we have done these are already covered so i did the exact same stuff while my eyes is in it and also if my points of i of zero which means the x coordinate point if it is less than equal to your max x which is the right end point of the rectangle you can simply skip it so i'll simply keep on going if it comes out which means it is not in bounds or maybe it is out of my n limit and thus i will be having my answer which is the minimum number of rectangles which i needed and that's how by greedily and by sorting you can simply solve this cool bye bye take care